Hi everyone, today I will show you about the SD WAN API. Of course, Cisco SD WAN. And uh, let's go to the uh, official API guide. Just go to the browser and search Cisco SD WAN API. Uh, actually, there are many vendors, but Cisco is the one vendor. It uh, merged uh, Viptala, the leading the S2 solution, and this is official guide. Maybe <laughs> there are many kind of resources, but I will collect this documentation. Uh, this documentation supplies main things about the, especially authentication. The authentication is a little bit different. It needs uh, like a cookie and it needs a token. So it, it, it's a kind of two-step authentication. And one thing very nice is it supplies about the Postman collections. So if we click Run in Postman, uh, there are the Postman examples here. The S2 one and authentication, the, everything is already made by the Cisco. And as you know, at the Postman, if you click this icon, you can get the code, the Python request examples. So just to copy and paste and run, it will not learn. There will be an error, like a, uh, you need to like a take off a certification like that. Very simple. And let's see back. So we need uh, like a machine, but we don't we, we don't have a machines. So just search Devon Sandbox, and you click it. Uh, Cisco supplies so many kind of solutions as a sandbox. Networking, DNS Center, and S two N here. But there are actually two kind of sandboxes. One is Horizon, the other is Reserve. But as its name, the Horizon doesn't need doesn't need any kind of reservation. But it doesn't work this time. I don't know why. So I didn't make a reserve. If you make a reservation, it need uh, you can use it uh, four hour at default. At, at maximum, you can use it about 8 hours. So if you make a reserve, click it, you will get an email after 15 minutes later about. A minute later, so you will get an email about how to connect to the uh, DevNet Sandbox. Uh, it requires the Cisco AnyConnect briefing client and click and download it. And this is the address and this is uh, ID and password. So let's connect. What's wrong? <laughs> uh, here, and here is put the address and click, then copy. Uh, ID and password here and connect. Then you will connect it. And here, where is where is it? Uh, this is the topologies. Actually, uh, here the V manage is the what the, this is controller. So we need the uh, access to this machine. So if you click uh, this address, the ten ten twenty nine, and put the ID and password. maybe you will connect it but it does work i don't know why but if you try with version 19 not 20 it will work but anyway the api is working working so no problem okay so let's see i will explain about the what we will do is first uh to get authenticated we need two things first we need cookie Actually, first we do post just to make a connection. Then uh, cookie will be in the header. 
So just a response, just uh, and you can get out the uh, cookie header. And then with cookie, with you can get the token. So right now you have a cookie, you have a token, then you can run any API you wanna run. <laughs> Simply, I will collect the device information. Okay, let's go. Uh, first code is is called. Uh, this is code is from the actually uh, Postman. I did copy this code from post Postman, and this is uh, Post, and I got a header. Then from header, I extract about the the the, the 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 cookies. So I will show you later. And then with cookie, with cookie, cookie is here. Co with cookie, I get the token. So just uh, cookie and token. And finally, with the token and cookie, I collect the device information. Very simple. Uh, here, 101029 is the bit the uh, Cisco S2 and controller. And I run the code. Code run very well. Wow. Uh, because this code is for you, very kind. So, uh, this is about the verification and this is about the header, the type. It's a string. Okay. Here, I just change with the string. Then this is header. So from header, this is what we need. So here, here I did uh, 16 to 104. Just I the put here, the crop, crop. <laughs> I crop here and finally this one. And then, and then I go to get the cookies here, uh, tokens. So here, blah, blah, blah. And I got a token here. And then finally, with the cookie and, cookie and token, I did get the information about the devices, blah, blah, blah. But you know, so Devna is very kind. These guys are very kind. Uh, when I read the document first, so I was disappointed. This is just code, oh man. But at the end of the page, they put the sample code, the class, definition, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And here, here is Devna of examples about the s and he, and I just did, did just I just copy and paste it, and I just add about import request and the uh, vmain host port username password, and if I learn it work very well. Wow, and this is just uh, about uh, like uh, collecting the informations. So this code is very free and very simple and very well. So you can use the code, and if I learn this code. In run very well and it shows the same result. So this is JSON and because you are JSON expert, you can handle this code. All right. Uh, as I told you, so Cisco S2N API is very simple. Just you need a cookie and token and you can run any API command. That's it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.